To give you a tidbit, like, um, Zan, a.k.a. Cookie Slayer, uh, the most recent set they had together, it went to Game 5. And oh. Cookie Slayer is PR'd in our region, so... Yeah, there you go. Definitely really talented. Cats, I'm not familiar with, but Ness and Ditto is going to be interesting. Definitely, he, at, at the very least, knows what PSI guy is going to be throwing at him. That's true. At the same time, you know, that knowledge is a two-way street. Right. All right, so PSI guy, the red cap. Or no. No, PSI guy is the green oh, cap. it's the green cap, so the names are backwards. Oh, got to switch up the tags. Uh, just keep that in mind. PSI guy is wearing the green cap. There we go. Fixed it up. Okay, pushing uh, cats off stage with the forward air. Uh, both of them just really swinging at each other, and back air going to land onto PSI guy. Okay, Ooh, yeah, forward air into grab. Yeah, that was like a drag down forward air too. Yeah, it's something we're going to probably see a lot throughout the set. Can't remember the last time I actually saw a Ness Ditto in this game. Yeah. Even in the last game. It's weird. I mean, Ness was like, he faded out of existence towards the end of Smash 4. Uh, I'll be honest, I was, I was okay with that. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> look at that yo-yo work. Walking the dog just a little bit and going to take the first dog away from Cats. Yeah, of course the, the yo-yo is really interesting as well because it actually, you can hang that off of the ledge so you can catch really easy two frames. Oh, double PK fire, really great read. We'll go catching, for a triple. Catching the SDI out to uh, with the second one. Oh, dash attack. Great uh, tech chase on the roll there. Oh, okay, going for the big swing. And as you can see, PSI guy really just has been not stopped his aggression. That was a great air dodge to the ledge. He had no more resources. He already expended his second jump, so he definitely needed that to avoid his death. Yo, PSI guy got yo-yo tricks. Again, converting big damage with that up smash. Down <laughs> smash, pushed him. Not, he didn't release it quick enough to get the KO, but still. All right, up air, super strong. A lot of players at the beginning of the game thought this up air was worse than the old one. I have to say it's, it's better. It still kills, and it juggles even better. That's true, but you know what? That down smash is also better. <laughs> Absolutely. As you can see, like, just like you said, PSI guy able to hang the yo-yo off the ledge made it very difficult for cats to get back. Oh, shine combos. Magnet combos. Yeah, the only thing... Only thing uh, Ness is missing is that little bleep sick bloop. <laughs> yep. Look at that. It's so good because you can actually like turn yourself around with it and combo into all of your aerials with it as well. Look at right there. Like that. Hey, the reversals. Okay, getting a couple up airs of his own. Cat's able to put some damage. Now, both these players just continue to trade. Alright, Cat's running across the stage, turning around F smash. He's trailing by quite a significant amount right here, the up air. <laughs> they literally were like facing each other in a mirror. Oh, charge it up a little bit, and that's all she wrote. PSI guy, two stock for game number one. Yeah, playing the quick bands and man, look at that. Oh, he is pumped. Yeah, dude. Look at that. He is popping off. I mean, he's ready to advance as far as he can in this bracket. He's you, making it out of pools, man. You you always feel good when you win the ditto, dude. That's pride on the line. <laughs> that's true. That's <laughs> that's definitely. I mean, I've heard a lot of players say like they don't like the ditto, or they're definitely not good honest. at the ditto. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, there is definitely pride. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know what? I just won. I'll admit, I want to play a different character in my. You in do. My ditto. You, yeah. you don't want to do it. I'm confident in the ditto. I'll do it. I'll do it all I'm, day. I'm <laughs> confident in the ditto. Don't get me wrong. I just it makes me bored. <laughs> but here we go. Game number two on town and city. A little bit more room for either player to move around. Obviously, it's not. It's a player preference at this point because both they're playing the same character. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really see any uh, back throw kills coming out from either player. So uh, these are skilled nests. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, skilled nests. Okay, there's the back throw. I'm trying to say. <laughs> onto the platform as it escapes. Even percents right here. Cats catching the up air, trying to land with another one. Catches the forward tilt. Oh, nice PK little trap. fire into forward air for a PSI guy. Oh, don't run into the <laughs> <laughs> All right, not enough with the up smash. Uh, Town and City Blast Zone certainly working out for him. <gasps> okay, he oh, was wait, able to use oh. the second one, but PSI guy had it covered with the down smash at the ledge. I feel like at that point you should do like directional air dodge and yeah. hope for the best. But Cat's getting that revenge kill. 
I mean, I think directional air dodge probably would have just caught, got caught as well. Oh, then he does have, done. <laughs> have the, invul the invul vulnerability frames and the, That's true. the down smash has an active hitbox. Yeah, well, that's definitely a trap that uh, it's not going to be fun to be in. You notice that Katz has actually slowed down the match. Yeah. He's letting PSI guy really be the aggressor, and he's just looking for his ways in. All right, and it's working out fairly well so far. Um, PSI guy definitely looking like he has a little bit more confidence in his button presses. So that, that's pr the primary difference between the two. Mm -hmm. But neutral-wise, they're, they're both playing like toe-to-toe, -to -toe, really keeping it tight to the chest. Yeah, Cat's going off stage, trying to land the forward air, but oh, a run up, up smash to punish the roll. Good read from PSI guy. Absolutely, man. Here's that a back grab throw? from Cat's. Does the back throw? It's not enough from center stage. Oh, okay. I don't think that air dodge was supposed to be onto the stage. I think he wanted the ledge, but it worked out. Okay, well, Still wow, enough. great DI going to uh, pretty much the furthest point on the corner. I'm surprised the uh, Cats hasn't been really uh, use, uh, utilizing up smash or down smash at the ledge right there. Just kind of let PSI get back to the uh, to the ledge with his rocket. Hmm, that's very oh, true. That should be it. Yeah, yeah, something to keep in mind for sure because he, he could be at, at the very least getting more damage if not getting the KO. Okay, right here's going to be three forward airs. The PSI guy running towards him, trying to read a jump, doesn't get it. Yeah, Cat's doing the unthinkable, running, getting out of the PK fire and then running back into the PK fire. But it did throw off PSI guy, and he is able to escape uh, whatever PSI guy had in store for him. Oh, trying to punish that air dodge. Okay. Just forward airs all day from both players. Yeah, I really like the conditioning that PSI guy is going for here. Just applying pressure with aerials, trying to read the defensive options. The the option to get out of the corner right here, you can see he's throwing out a lot of up airs, like threatening with forward air, th saying, thinking like you're gonna jump, and there's the down smash. Actually, that was an up smash. Yeah, that yeah. was an up smash. I'm just.